Good morning, folks. It's 8 a.m. And we're going to pick up uh, in chapter uh, 2. We talked about covalent bonds. Uh, any of you out there yet? Just type your name in so I can uh, see who's there. Oops. Ashley Arcy, good morning. Had your coffee yet, Ashley? I haven't. We'll give them a couple of minutes to uh, get into the textbook. Ashley, we're going to be on um, in chapter two. Uh, we got all the way up to covalent bonds and talked about uh, nonpolar and polar covalent bonds. That's on page 38 and 39. And on 40. <laughs> well, you enjoy it. Sometimes it's uh, nice to teach from your home. You can have a cup of coffee or whatever, chew on a bagel or a biscuit or something. Your little crew uh, doing okay. Your crew of three. They're doing all right. Ooh, maybe we'll get through the lecture before he hits the ground running. <laughs> we'll give him a couple of minutes to get on here, and then we'll start rolling. So, <clears throat> But we're on about page 41. Uh, go ahead and ask your question, uh, Ashley. You're correct, Ashley. Uh, you've gotten in there where you're supposed to do those assignments. And um, they're, they're tests, but you can look things up. So you have, a, I think it's a lab, so a couple of lab um, tests that you can go through your lab manual and you can locate the answer. And then you can do the same thing. Uh, with your lecture book, or if you have the e-text, you can uh, look it up. Uh, it'll take you a little bit of time to do that. Um, so you want to make sure you turn that in. You are required, and I think like you said, there are, about, there are eight activities. Uh, so you'll have eight things, uh, eight, eight little tests on the textbook, and then you'll have eight things uh, on the lab book. So uh, you need to get started on that. Now, the reason for that is they're trying to get you to um, look up things in the book and uh, develop your ability to do that. And you're also preparing your um, mind for uh, various terminology and uh, the anatomy and physiology of the body. 
you get a grade for that. So um, in terms of the eight for the lecture, those eight would be added together at the end of the semester and they would count as much as a lecture exam. So while we have five lecture exams, we have actually six because those exercises are averaged just in the lecture to give you a lecture grade. So if you spend that time looking those up and you get good grades, you could go into uh, the uh, last part of the, the semester with a very good grade added to the five uh, lecture exams that you'll be taking during the course of the semester. So make sure you do that. That's going to also count in the lab like that. You'll have lab quiz one, lab quiz two. Now that's not a lab exam. That's a lab quiz. So they'll add those up, divide them by eight, and you get an average, and that gets added to your lab exam. Does that make sense to you? Oh, no, doing one and only was that. Well, I got this little notice in here now that says, uh, unable to connect to chat. Please try again. Can you, you hear me? Um, I wish there was some way that uh, <laughs> I could see you guys. Um, hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It says you unable to chat. So mm. <sighs> frustrating technology. Well, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to knock out, and then I'm going to come back in. 